Liberal hipsters' Trump impeachment party comes to abrupt end as it devolves into crying chaos. Liberals across America were abuzz with excitement in the hours leading up to James Comey's testimony, so certain that the former FBI director would finally reveal the Trump Russia collusion that would lead to President Trump's impeachment. Baristas and bars across D.C. were packed with hipsters, who were eagerly sipping their lats and early morning shots as they stared up at television screens anxious to see what would become of Comey's Senate Intelligence Committee's hearing. But shortly into the hearing, what was being dubbed as the Super Bowl of politics was quickly transformed into a funeral, as liberal snowflakes soon realized that their dreams of getting President Trump impeached was rapidly going down in flames, as no Trump-Russia collusion would ever be revealed. We all remember scenes from election night when liberals across America began to realize that Hillary Clinton was going to lose to Trump. This would be the night they earned the nickname Snowflakes, as hilarious images of liberals curled up in fetal positions and videos their hysterical crying fits went viral across the internet, as this was the first time this participation trophy had ever dealt with losing in their entire lives. But unfortunately for these snowflakes, they were forced to live their election night trauma all over again yesterday, as their hopes to have President Trump impeached would be ripped to shreds shortly after Comey's testimony began. Here they are in full celebration mode as the testimony kicked off, cheering and making their little hipster toasts. Liberal snowflakes toast during beginning of Comey's testimony, in what they thought would be the beginning of Trump's impeachment but shortly into their little celebration, things began to rapidly deteriorate. The hearing revealed according to IJ Review that, number one Trump is not now, nor has he ever been, under investigation by the FBI, number two President Obama's Attorney General, Loretta Lynch, told Comey not to call the probe into Hillary Clinton's endless scandals an investigation, but rather a matter, and number three Comey himself leaked his own diary memo about meetings with Trump, giving them to a friend to pass to the media. Realization that Trump did absolutely nothing wrong soon put a turd in liberals' early morning ales, and their smiles were quickly transformed into scowls. Check out this little snowflake hipster. He's is just so sad. What? No Trump-Russia collusion like CNN promised. Oh the horror. This devastated Trump hater couldn't mask her bitter disappointment. Wonder if she took off from work today so she could cope with her dreams of a Trump impeachment being shot to hell? Ah, look at all the melting snowflakes. They are just so devastated. Someone give this guy a safe space and a blankie, I don't think he can cope. Look at the bitter disappointment in those little snowflake eyes. Wonder how long after this picture was taken before he took to Twitter to post a status about his sad feelings? Poor baby, is that a tear I see? Let's zoom in a little more. He quickly realizes his dreams have just been flushed down the toilet, and decides to just have another drink. Here's some more not-so-festive Trump-hating morons. People on social media immediately began to mock the snowflakes, with many memes and articles beginning to pop up overnight. Like a baseball game when the visiting team jacks up an eight-run lead. We were guessing the bars started to empty out early, even with much more to go in the Comey show, a Daily Wire article read. Our guess is that there were a lot of snowflakes balled up in the fetal position on their futons by noon. The liberal media continues to push this nonsense about a Trump-Russia collusion, even though they have zero evidence to support their claims. Just like during the election where liberals were constantly told by CNN and MSNBC that Hillary would win the election by a landslide. Liberals have been promised the smoking gun that would come out of the Comey testimony which would finally end Trump's presidency forever. Thanks to the lies that the liberal media continues to feed their snowflakes, bitter disappointment will continue to rage on throughout the Democratic Party, as the reality of Trump being in power for the next four years is now beginning to settle in. Please do not forget like on videos, and subscribe, and comment because your voice matters, and visit our page on Facebook, and like them, and follow up. And thanks for watching.